Hey guys, this is Afik. Uh, in the last episode, we've fixed our navigation and we've set up all the logic to uh, communicate with our backend API to log in, log out, and store the user in our local storage. Uh, the next step will be to create our uh, customer's logic right here. So right now we get nothing. And I want to define uh, the route first. Let's go to our VS Code uh, routes file. And down here, I would like to create all the routing for customers. Okay, so the first route is going to be the main uh, path, which is slash customers. This one is going to be uh, requiring authentication. And the component for this one is going to be called customers main. And the reason I'm going to do customers main is because I wanted to have children and all his children is going to be rendered inside this customers main. We are going to use here uh, the sub router view component. So the same component we have in here, uh, which is in, in inside our main app component, we have router view. We're going to put another one inside our customers uh, main. And this one is going to render all his children. So we need to define children routes in here. So children, this one is going to be an array of all the children. So the first one is going to have path for the main one. And this is once you click on customers, I want to render the component called customers list. And we don't have those components yet, but we're going to create all of them. The next one is going to be another path for new. And this one is going to render the component called uh, new customer. And the last one, uh, let's do one for path. Um, ID and this is going to be a dynamic route because uh, if we're going to go to slash customers customers slash two uh, the number two in here is going to be this ID okay and now we can take this ID and search it in our um, and now we can take this ID and go to the API and look for this one and grab the customer so path is ID and the component is just customer because this one is a customer view okay so let's create all these components we're gonna do this under the components folder I'll create um, customers folder and under here and in here we're gonna do uh, the first one is list dot view the other one is main dot view we'll have new and finally um, this is the customer view let's call this one view view dot view okay the first one is going to be uh, the main dot view this one is going to have a template with container we're going to have row justify content center because I want a card to be in the middle of the screen and let's do um, a div to be call md8. Okay, let's create a card down here. It's going to be card default. I don't want any special styling. And the card header, this is going to be customers. Next, we'll have the card body. And in here, we are going to render the router view component okay so if you go to our routes again we have the main component here called customers main and this one is going to render the main dot view component and then you have all those children so if you go to the slash path you're going to render the customers list inside the router view here and if you have uh, slash new uh, you're going to render the new customer and so on Okay, so now we just need to export this component. So let's do script export default. And we're going to give this one the name of customers me. Okay, next let's copy everything in here and let's create the list component. And the name is going to be list. And in here let's do a div. And under this div we'll create a table with a class table. Let's create a header for this table and we'll have the following. We'll have name, we'll have email, phone, and let's do another one for actions. 
now inside our body. We're going to do the, the same trick we did with the template component. So template and if we don't have any customers, so customers dot length. In, in this case, I want to render a table row with one column. We'll have a span for everything. So we have four columns in here and the class is going to be text center and the text is no customers available. Now in the other case where we have customers, so it's going to be V else. Let's render our list of customers. So we'll have V4 customer in customers. Okay, we need to have a key attribute for each uh, child in our iteration. So we're going to do key is customer.id. Okay, so uh, the first one is going to be for customer name. We'll have another one for email, phone. And the final one is going to be a link for this customer card. So we'll create a router link. And this router link is going to go to, uh, let's do um, customers slash customer dot ID and view. Okay, um, let's test this one out in the browser. Um, no, I don't think we can yet because we need to uh, import um, those components in here. So the first one is import customers main from um, components customers main. Right, this one is called main. Yeah, main dot view. Okay, and the other one is going to be customers list. So customers list. Let's remove those two for now because we don't have those components and we just want to test that it works. Um, refresh the page. What happened? Customer is not defined. Okay, because we haven't imported the customers array from our store to the list component. Let's go to the uh, list.view and we need a computed value in here. This one is going to grab the customers from the store, so we're going to return this dot store dot getters, and let me make sure that I have a getter for customers. So store um, customers, and this one should have the customers array. Right. Let's take this one and put it right here. And now let's try to refresh. And we have customer is not defined. Okay. Customer, okay, we need customers.length, and now it should work, I believe. Unknown custom element template, probably in our list somewhere. Yeah, template. That's true. Let's make sure we have all of them right. And refresh now, and here's the list of our customers. Okay, next, let's go to our API and create a factory for customers. Uh, so it's Going to be inside our user factory we'll create another factory for up customer and this customer is let's go to our create customers table and we have those fields name email phone and website so name email phone and website okay so name is faker name email is faker email we have a faker function for a phone number, so faker phone number. And another one for website, it's called faker URL. Okay, let's do a PHP artisan tinker. And let's do factory for app customer. Let's create 50 of those and hit create okay uh, maybe we forgot to create the customer model so let's do php artisan make model and call it customer and go to our customer.php and make sure we have the protected protected guarded is going to be an empty array 
Now let's do the same thing, PHP Artisan Tinker, and try to generate 50 customers, and now it works. Let's visit our database, go to our local MySQL, view SPADB customers, and here are the list of our customers. Now we need to make sure that once this component is mounted, we get the list of customers from our API. So let's go to list.view, and in our mounted lifecycle method, we're gonna have a call to the API to get a list of users. So we can do this.store.dispatch, and we'll create an action for this one called get customers. Now let's go back to our store and make sure we have this action called get customers. It's gonna get a context and we'll do an Ajax call to get all the list of customers from slash API slash customers. And this call is gonna get uh, a header for our authentication token. So let's do headers object. The key is called uh, authorization. So authorization and the value is bearer. And then we need from the context dot state dot user um, not, not user, current user. We need the token. Okay, so this is our uh, authorization header. Then we can just do um, take the response and we need to uh, trigger a mutation in this stage so it'll override the customers list in here. So we can do um, context dot commit and we'll create another mutation called update customers and this one is going to get the response dot data dot customers and now we can create it right here so update customers I'm gonna get the state and the payload in our case the payload is the list of customers and state dot customers is gonna be equal the payload Okay, so now we need to create all those routes for customers. The first step will be to create the customers controller. So PHP artisan make controller, customers controller. And let's go to our route slash api.php file and create another group in here. And it's gonna have a middleware for JWT authentication. So middleware and the name of this middleware is jwt.auth. Okay, we'll create one route for get customers. This is gonna go to customers controller all. And we'll have another one for customers slash ID. And in this case, I need to get a customer by its ID. So customer, oh, I think we have a typo. So customer controller and both of them and customers controller get and the last one is going to be to create a new customer so post to customers slash let's do new and it's going to go to customers controller new let's go to our customers controller and create those functions okay the first one is going to be to get the list of all customers so it's going to be all Next, we'll have another function for get, and it will get the customer ID. And the last one is gonna be for new. And this one will get a request. With all the fields necessary to create a new customer. So all is gonna be very simple. We're gonna do customers equals to customer all. And then we can return a response of JSON and the customer's key is going to be equal to the customer's array and we make sure to send 200 status code um, we need to use app customer next we want to get a customer by its ID so it's pretty much the same but we need to do where ID is this one and grab the first record. Now we can send back this customer. 
okay the final method is going to be to create a new customer so customer is equal customer create and we're going to have from the request only the name email phone and website now we can return a response a JSON it's gonna be a status code of 200 and we're gonna get this customer back to us so customer is gonna be this customer right here I think this is all we need for our customers logic let's um, trigger our npm run watch command again and let's go back to our browser and refresh the page and here's the list of our customers awesome let's uh, add another link here to create a new customer I'll put it inside our uh, list component so down here customers list and somewhere in here let's do a button wrapper and I'll do a router link that's gonna go to two customers slash new and the class for this one is just gonna be a default uh, button from bootstrap so btn btn primary btn sm and the text is new okay now let's give it a style for this button wrapper make sure it's scoped to this component only and btn wrapper is going to be text aligned right and margin bottom so it's not going to stick to our list we're going to give it like a 20 pixel or something let's see how it looks right now when we click on the new link it's not going to give us anything because we don't have the customer uh, new component if you remember inside our routes.js file uh, we've had uh, two more routes one for new and one for um, customer view and we have not created both of them yet so we have decided to remove it so we can test what we have so far and we'll do the rest in the next episode so this is it for now thank you very much for watching if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section down below uh, I'll publish all the code to my github account once this series is over um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.